Hello and welcome back to Chris Plays Pro Street, episode three, I think. Um, today we're going to look at the cars that we've unlocked. Um, so we've now actually looked at the two cars. We've got a Honda Civic, which is uh, not the best thing in drag strip racing and we've got the Nissan 240SX which I'm not a massive fan of because it looks absolutely crap. So um, I'm going to look at see if there is any new cars in the car lot or if there's anything useful in the car lot. That's locked, that's not locked. Locked, 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 locked. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Locked, locked, locked. Terrible, terrible. Locked, 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 locked. Mm, maybe we'll think about it. No drifting though. We've got one of those. Locked, 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 locked. Ooh, that's not actually a bad car, but it is quite expensive. Locked. 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 I don't get why the RX-8 is unlocked, but the Mazda Speed 3 is not locked. Is is locked. I mean, like, just compare... I mean, it is faster in a straight line. In fact, wow, it's actually not a bad car. But anyway, Mitsubishi Eclipse, that is tempting, because I do like the Mitsubishi Eclipse, but it's front-wheel drive, so... Maybe not. Uh, oh, that that could that also is quite tempting. And then we're back around to the start. So let's uh, let's okay. That's we've not really got enough money to buy a new car right now. But what we could do is at least upgrade our our drag car because I think that's what really needs the extra power right now. So, um, of course you can't change the pre-tuned drag blueprint, but you can create a new one. So, um, ah, you see, we've already got some upgrades from the, from the previous owner. So we'll just pull all of those on first. Uh, I don't think suspension is mighty important in drag racing, but whatever. No brakes, because we don't need them, it's drag racing. Uh, nitrous oxide we do need, however. And there's also a, this sort of auto... well, you get that by default anyway, so that's fine. Let's just... actually... We want to set these all to the minimum, really, don't we? Because we want to have the highest top speed. Lateral grip. I think... Actually, it would appear doing this doesn't actually seem to... Re seem to reduce the top speed that much. It only increases grip. Which doesn't make sense. Might as well do the back as well whilst we're here. Just do it all to max, because it, you know, why not? I mean, I'm not a massive fan of the stock auto sculpts, unless it's a particularly good looking car. But it's good because it's free, at least. Um, do we have any? No. Um, we'll keep it as standard for now. Spoiler. Do we have any? I could have sworn we had one. Never mind. Uh, roof scoop. Why not? We're not. Well, why not? Because it costs money. That's why. That's why not. Uh, we don't need a roll cage, <laughs> and we don't need racing seats. Great. So, not much on the original car. Um, one thing we could do though is, oh, we 
That engines are expensive. Nitrous? We could put more nitrous on it. Or better nitrous, should I say. One thing we could do, however, is... Um, try and sell this car. Yeah. So how much... How was what's the statistics on this? Right. Max torque, max power. Right, so let's sell this and buy the S15. In fact, oh shit. So many hard decisions in this game. I'm probably going I might end up skipping over this like when I edit it. Let's see if we can sell this thing. Wow, this is not worth Jack shit, is it? <laughs> okay, let's let's upgrade. Let's let's do the same thing we were doing to that one, but for this. We don't want that. This isn't what we want to do at all. Right. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, we haven't even got an engine upgrade on this yet. We do have drivetrain now, and I believe no, it doesn't have force induction. This is actually maybe this moat won't be as bad as I thought. Maybe it's actually just a really good car that's not been upgraded. Maybe that's why it felt so weak. Um, it's got tyres. And it's got nitrous, I know that for sure. And it's got stage 2 nitrous, so that's, that's good. Uh, body kits. Wow, now that might actually look good once it's sculpted. Yeah. Um, let's go for the stock auto sculpt though. Um, bring, bring this out and down. Yeah, get that intake. What I might do is, uh, we want that to be as high as possible, but I'm not a fan of this massive lip. Oh, I am a massive fan of I'm a massive fan of the lip. I'm not a massive fan of the the downwardness of it. So let's just take that a bit. On the rear bumper, let's keep let's bring it down a bit and cut some cut some air gaps. Because you're basically carrying around a big parachute with that rear bumper when it's not got stuff in it. Oh, that that looks shit. Um. All right, let's stop. Hood. Uh, we could just put a carbon hood on it, I guess. Uh, let's leave it stock for now. Spoiler. Spoilers are quite good if you want to increase your your dragness. I'm fairly sure this car is supposed to come with like a, a fairly large wing anyway. Which is a bit annoying. Because you don't get it. That one doesn't actually might not actually look too bad. Let's get uh Ugh. Uh, I think that's just, just so expensive. I don't remember everything in this game being so expensive to customise. Um, yeah, we don't need a wing. We don't need wings. And we don't need most of these things, in fact. One thing we do no need, though, is more power. And a good way of getting more power is a big turbo. Uh, how big a turbo do we want, though? Let's go for stage two of this. And. Stage two engine. Drivetrain. 
Uh, suspension. I think the suspend it, the way it handles isn't actually that bad right now. Um, brakes are fine. Tires are fine. Nitrous is fine. Could probably do with some visuals, I guess. Um, what colour shall we do it? Uh, I'm thinking like a sort of dark purple with like a a silver front. Oh, ugh, that's that's not right. There's something not right there. Oh, hmm. Uh, uh. And then what we want is Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, let's have some of that. And make that bit purple. It doesn't look half bad, it kind of does actually. Let's make. Yeah! I'm not sure if that looks good or bad at this point. I think it needs more on the side, that's what it needs. That's. Great, that's annoying. You can't perfectly position it. Guess I can do that. difficult than I first thought. Moshi. Oh my god. Yes. Great. It's not... That's not what it means. It doesn't mirror it the way you think it mirrors. I guess that's a good thing because it's always perfectly symmetrical. Right? Now, camouflage is also a good way of disguising the fact that your paint job is absolute shit. supposed to do is you're supposed to be able to do this and then it doesn't look so bad but it it does look bad because it it looks shit. Uh okay. Let's maybe it just needs more stuff on it.
Oh, yeah. I know where this is going. Um, first it's going red. Obviously. And then it's getting scaled up and out. Then I'm going to attempt to moves it moves relative to where your camera's pointing. So if you move the camera whilst holding the button it might change direction. It's kind of weird. One thing we could do is put a circle behind it. But I quite like it having the thing... Oh shit. Am I spending too much time on this? So now, our car looks better-ish. I think it could do with some more work, but it's pretty much there. I mean, it's ready to race now. So yeah, that's been the car customization video. See you next time.